So last week I showed you all of the features that were included in Lineage OS 14.1 on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. And today I want to continue that custom ROM feature series by showing you all of the features that are included in Resurrection Remix. Again, for both the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. So as you can see, as soon as you boot up the device, you're going to get asked if you want to use the Trebuchet Custom Launcher, which is the stock launcher for Lineage OS. But you also have the choice of using the Pixel Launcher. So just to give you a look at how that is on the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T, I chose the Pixel Launcher. You also have some Lineage OS features enabled by default, like the quick pull down for the right side. And we have some other changes, like the battery icon has automatically been set to the circle. We have a couple applications pre installed, like the Resurrection Remix statistics application as well as Omni switch which is from Omni ROM which you have to come in here and enable this that gives you a way to switch applications kind of like replacing the recents button but you can switch applications by swiping in from the right side similarly to how uh, Pi controls is And you have some options here for customizing that exactly how you like. You can see there is a lot of options with Omni Switch. It's actually quite a popular feature for Omni ROM. So we're going to dive into the settings now. And as I told you in the Lineage video, Lineage OS video, that a lot of these custom ROMs will have specific settings menus for the features they include. Since this is based off Lineage OS, we're also going to have menu options that are made for Lineage OS, like the additional buttons and the gestures. These are the same ones from lineage OS and they're right here in resurrection remix as well we even have developer options enabled by default so scrolling back up to look in the configurations section this is where all of our features will be for resurrection remix you can see we have tabs up at the top and there are a lot of features in here so starting with the status bar, we have some clock customizations. We have the ability to do a brand logo. Some custom logos. Battery options. And you can just pause whenever you're looking through these menus to get a better look at what all of these features are because they would definitely take an hour or two to go through and show you examples of each of these. You can control some of the system icons. You can use a notification ticker style which will scroll our notifications across the status bar. Weather. Network traffic. And carrier label options. A couple of status bar gestures and the system UI tuner that is baked into Android and an option to use breathing effects for our notifications and we have the notification panel section the header 
where we can provide a custom header image. We can enable a task manager. Customize our volume panel. In our power dialog, which is our power menu. And we have some customizations for the recents menu, which is this, the recents page. So you can show the memory bar, show the clock, show the date. You can add a clear all button and tell it where we want the clear all button to be. There's some style options for the recents page. and a way to add hidden applications and services to that. There's another shortcut to OmniSwitch as well as a way to enable Slim Recents. We have a couple of quick settings options. Here's our way to disable the quick pulldown since that's enabled by default. There's some tile layout options if you want more columns or more rows. And then some advanced options. Again, all for the quick settings panel. And we have some lock screen gestures, like tapping the lock screen to sleep it. And we have some user interface lock screen options. Customize the color. Customize these bottom shortcuts. As you can tell, Resurrection Remix has a ton of options baked in. Sometimes all, all of these features can lead to a lack of optimization in the code and that can lead to performance degradation as well as battery life issues. I'm not saying that it is that that this is the case for the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. It just all depends on how well it's coded for the specific device. I just installed this to give you guys a look at all of the options that are included and I have not fully tested this out which you know it'll take at least a week for Android to learn your usage patterns and settle you into about the normal battery life that you'll get out of a new install on a phone So if you're just trying out a new custom ROM on a smartphone, then definitely give it at least a week before you switch to another one just so you can give it some time to learn your usage patterns. So that is Resurrection Remix on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T.